Hi everyone in the world of cloud computing, IoT, AI and fintech. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard and here are a few news highlights from this week in the fast moving world of cloud computing. I'd like to thank you all for your support on social media about last week's news and please remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and your colleagues. This week saw Microsoft strike a 15 year deal with GE to buy all of the output from its new 37 megawatt wind farm in Ireland. Microsoft said that GE's wind farm, which is located in the southwest of Ireland in County Kerry, will support the growing demand for its cloud computing services in Ireland. GE and Microsoft are also analyzing data from batteries, which are integrated in each of the turbines for energy storage as they plan to see how well the batteries can capture and store excess energy and then feed it back to the grid to smooth out the highs and lows in wind energy production. This deal is part of a power purchase agreement or a PPA which allows companies such as Microsoft to offset the huge amount of energy their data centers will consume, leading the way for clean energy to the grid. Christian Belady, General Manager, Data Center Strategy and Microsoft said, our commitment to help bring new clean energy to the Irish grid and contains innovative elements that have the potential to grow the capacity, reliability and capability of the grid. This will make it easier to incorporate new clean power sources like wind energy and that is good for the environment, for Ireland and for our company. Every October, ZDNet do a special report on how business leaders are planning to spend their tech budgets for the year ahead. The survey of the 2018 plans found that nearly two thirds of the decision makers are increasing their technology budgets in 2018 and almost a quarter of them are boosting their tech spend by 10% or more. The top technologies that they are utilizing their budgets for are in this order. Number one, cybersecurity, which was mentioned by 53% of the respondents. And number two, hardware upgrades at 47%. Number three, cloud services at 43%. Number four, software at 40%. Five, which was big data analytics at 20%. And finally, number six, which was the Internet of Things at 18%. Besides the specific tech projects, 35% of the tech leaders said they are investing in training for existing staff and 29% said they are investing in hiring new employees. ZDNet also polled the Tech Republic's CIO jury where 83% said their IT budgets would increase or stay the same in 2018. They also cited cybersecurity as a top concern but highlighted that hybrid cloud as a priority as well. I've included the link below in the video description to the ZDNet report. You'll see that just below this video. This week sees Salesforce roll out a new marketing cloud integration with Facebook. Now marketers using Facebook will be able to measure the effectiveness of their targeted ad campaigns with Salesforce lead analytics. The system will pull engagement stats from Facebook, Instagram and Facebook audience network and create performance visualizations against the key marketing automation metrics. Lewis Moynihan, MarTech Partnerships Lead at Facebook said, the Facebook Leads Ads API helps businesses grow by allowing them to form more meaningful relationships with business decision makers. A solution like Salesforce Lead Analytics for Facebook is a great tool that leverages the power of our API to help B2B marketers who can now better understand how their campaigns drive leads, opportunities and ultimately business outcomes. The integration is now available for new and existing Salesforce Pardot and Marketing Cloud Advertising Studio Enterprise Edition customers. AWS Cloud hacked by Bitcoin miners as nation state hackers steal Bitcoins to fund political campaigns. Among the latest threats to public security cloud is Bitcoin mining as hackers breach enterprise computing resources to hunt for the digital currency. Redlock, which is a cloud security vendor, reported earlier this month that hackers were using Amazon Web Services cloud computing resources to mine for Bitcoins. The process of mining involves collecting all the transactions in a list within a set period. This is called a block. Bitcoin miners confirm those transactions and they are written into a general ledger. They are then paid in like currency. 
the Red Lock report said that researchers found that hackers had exploited the Kubernetes container orchestrators deployed on AWS, Microsoft, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. None were password protected and were effectively open to the public and created a window of opportunity for hackers. Redlock's report said that hackers were executing a Bitcoin mining command from a Kubernetes container. This highlights the need for effective network monitoring solutions in public cloud computing environments to detect suspicious activity. This week, the Dubai Land Department, or DLD, has laid a claim to becoming the world's first government entity to adopt blockchain technology. The government arm responsible for the registration and organization of real estate in the Emirate is now processing and implementing all transactions on a blockchain with the ultimate goal of seeing all Dubai properties recorded on blockchain within two to three years. An announcement by the Dubai government's media office read, DLD has created the blockchain system using a smart and secure database that records all real estate contracts, including lease registrations, and links them with the Dubai Electricity and Water Authority, or the DEWA, the telecommunication system, and various property-related bills. Blockchain's secure electronic real estate platform incorporates personal tenant databases, including Emirate identity cards and the validity of residency visas, and allows tenants to make payments electronically without the need to write checks or print any papers. The entire process can be completed electronically within a few minutes, at any time, and from anywhere in the world, which removes the need to visit any government entity. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hillard. Thanks for watching this week's Cloud Computing and IoT News Highlights. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with your friends and with your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn and find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. But until next week, be good, be safe, and keep our clouds secure.